Hey planners, it's Tay of Shantae Plants and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be planning in my Print Pressions B6 planner and I'm planning the week of May 4th to May 10th, which is Mother's Day, and using the Plan Your Dreams kit from Sweet Bella XOXO. And this is a two-page mini kit and I thought this would work really well in my B6 planner because it's a uh, Kind of a smaller format kit and so i'm going to be pulling in some other boxes and things just to round out my assortment this has gorgeous gold foil on it and i think the foiling on her kits are just so stunning on this page we've got bottom washi to do headers half boxes quarter boxes page flags and then checklist flags and then on this page we've got all of our full boxes which have gorgeous gold foil on them as well so very excited to get started planning this week. If you'd like to see how this spread comes out, please just keep watching. I'm starting by placing the habit tracker in the bottom washi section, and I like having it offset between Monday and Tuesday. And then I'm going to use the bottom washi strips going around it. So I'm gonna cut the ends of the strips so that it gives more of that page flag look, and then place it on either side of that habit tracker. Because the Print Prussians Planner is undated, you can kind of use this on either two pages or four pages, but I've really enjoyed planning on two pages in this planner. If I were doing it on four pages, I would have a full column to use as the sidebar, but since I don't, I have been enjoying just adding the little habit tracker into the bottom washi section to give me at least part of what I would track in, um, usually in my sidebar. So once I've got all of the bottom washi laid down, then I'm going to get started with the date covers. And I'm using date dots and date covers from Rose Color Days. Because the date covers that I'm using have an all-white background and just the gold foiled script, it gave me an opportunity to try something a little bit different this week than what I usually do. Because I don't always put headers right under each of the date covers for every day of the week. It's just not my planning style. But I really wanted to bring up some pink color to the top of the page because there was so much pink happening in that bottom washi. And so I pulled out these uh, headers that I had. The bow headers are from Tassel Planner. Then I had some kind of neutral colored leftover blank headers from a Regina Last kit that I had used. And then I had my um, gold overlays that... Um, were a collab that I designed along with Artbox stickers. And so I'm alternating putting down the Tassel Planner bow headers and then putting down the blank headers and using the Artbox stickers overlays on top of the blank headers. And that really brought in just a nice punch of that gold foil. And so I thought that went really well, helped bring up some of that pink color to balance out what was happening in the bottom washi. And I was also really happy with it because again, this is kind of different from my planning style. So I had a lot of fun doing it this week. Adding in the month at the top of the page, I'm using a bow from Sadie Stickers and then using a May script from Rose Color Days to layer on top of that. Moving into the day by day, I'm putting down a half box from the kit. And then I realized I had a weekend script on this Rose Color Days sampler. So I'm taking that and putting it over the Saturday Sunday column. I uh, really like the look of that. So I was excited to see that I actually had a weekend banner that would fit in that space. And then going back to Monday, I'm going to put down one of this little desk icons. And this actually was from my old freebie from Tassel Planner uh, before her shop closed. And then I'm adding a today script from Nettie Designs. And I just have been keeping track of what week it is for working from home on Mondays. And so this is week seven for me of working at home. Then I put down one of the to-do headers from the script and one of the um, bow checklists and just marked some things I needed to get done for school. I had um, like three different assignments that were due that day or that was the due date for them and I needed to have all of that stuff done by Monday. Um, and then I put down another one of those um, header overlays from Artbox stickers and I'm using that more so as a divider and I really like those because they're on clear paper and so you can use them as a header overlay or as a divider and then I put down one of these really cute bowstrung boxes from the giving girl so obsessed with those and layered a podcast icon from crafts by tally i kind of decided i wanted that kind of angled and offset when i put it down but then later it starts to annoy me so i am going to straighten that out later i don't even think i showed it on camera but if it's annoying you that that thing is kind of slanted don't worry at some point it's going to annoy me too and i'm going to fix it 
Then I put down a page flag from the kit to mark that I edited my haul video because I wanted to have that up on Tuesday and finished off Monday with a quarter box from Sadie stickers to mark that we watched a Star Wars because Monday was uh, the 4th of May or Star Wars Day. Starting off on Tuesday with a scalloped half box from Panda Bird Design to mark that it was Cinco de Mayo and I did not have like all of the scripts that I wanted to use in gold foil to mark Cinco de Mayo and Mother's Day for this week and so I had to use these black ones from Rose Color Days and so what I tried to do was bring in some other scripts that had um, black that were in black ink and not just like the gold foil to help balance it out so those wouldn't stand out as much. So then I put down the quarter box from Sadie stickers and that's why I used the black haul live script instead of using it in rose gold and I layered the little bow at the bottom of that quarter box. I don't know what it is with me and layering bows at the bottom of quarter boxes like in the center like that but I just really love that look. As I was putting down the full box on Tuesday, I realized I didn't use a full box on Monday at all, which I hadn't noticed when I was planning, but I guess I must have had quite a bit going on Monday. Uh, so it worked out and where I guess I didn't need a full box. So finishing up Tuesday, I'm putting down a to-do header and adding an icon from Tassel Planner, which is just her cutlery icon. And I'm going to add these um like strung bows and these came off of Rachel's freebie from Sadie's stickers and they're so pretty and I love this little like dainty de decorative detail that they add um, so I'm just layering two of those on top of that header and marking a CVS run and cooking dinner which is why I have the cutlery icon down on to Wednesday I'm adding the full box with the cupcakes which is so adorable and also really made me want a cupcake um and then I put down another one of those art box stickers headers um that I'm just using again as a divider and I want to mark my midweek post on Instagram so I'm going to take this little Instagram icon from art box stickers and layer it on top of this little uh, bow arrow sticker from the kit and it's in such a light gray color that it's like oh, you can barely see it um I mean I can see it in person but it's not picking up on camera but um it's super cute. And then I'm taking a half box from Art Box Stickers and it's so pretty. I love these half boxes that are just like clean with just like the lines of foil because you can embellish them however you want. And I decided to embellish with another one of those um, strung bows from uh, Rachel Sadie Stickers Freebie. And then layered a work script from Nettie's Designs on top of that. In the bottom corner of that box, I'm adding a laptop from Crafts by Towie. I had a um, hangout meeting with my supervisor to go over my 2020 goals for the year. And so that is what I'm marking with that box. And then pulling another washi strip from that leftover Regina Last kit. And it just has like a marble washi kit. And there was, um, it was I thought, coordinated really well with this kit. I'm layering a school script on top of that. And that school script is from My Newest Addiction. And then to finish off Wednesday, I'm adding a quarter box from Sadie Stickers and that cat whose name is Pella, uh, who is stretching and doing yoga, is from the GP studio and I used her just to mark my workout for the day. Moving over to Sunday, putting down another one of those scalloped half boxes from Panda Bird Design. I'm going to mark that Sunday was Mother's Day and I'm using the script from Rose Color Days, which of course matches the same script that I used on Tuesday for Cinco de Mayo. And then on Friday, I'm adding another one of those scallop boxes and the TGIF script is from Nettie Designs. Now that that's done, I'm hopping back over to Thursday and starting actually at the bottom of the column by putting down the full box and adding a gold foiled header from Rose Colored Days on top of it. Then I'm gonna move up to the top of the column and put down a half box from the kit and I am layering a today script from Nettie Designs on top of that. I needed to turn in my um, discussion post for that for school for that day and so I'm using this cute little like A plus spiral notebook and pen icon from Crafts by Towie uh, to mark for my schoolwork then added a squiggle from Rose Color Days and um, just using that as a divider and then I wanted to mark that my B6 plan with me um, for last week went up live and I marked that the same way as my haul from Tuesday using a quarter box and a bow from Sadie's stickers 
Then I added a TV from Tassel Planner to mark that I'd watched the Michelle Obama Becoming documentary that was on Netflix. So good. I am obsessed with Michelle Obama. She is amazing and I really enjoyed watching that. Added the full box on Friday and then also added the full box for Saturday. And then I'm using another one of those um, heart squiggle overlays from Artbox stickers right underneath that full box on Saturday. On to Friday, I put down a to-do header and then another one of those half boxes from the kit and I am embellishing that with the um, strung bows from the Sadie stickers freebie and then I also am going to add one of the little corner bows from that freebie into the corner of that half box. I really had fun decorating that. I just was like, okay, keep adding stickers until it just makes you happy and it did. I love it so much. <laughs> And in that box, I'm just um, putting down my homework assignment, which means that box makes me happier than what I had to do. Um, but I turned in my budget report for school and then um, finished off Friday with a page flag and a workout script from Rose Color Days. On Saturday, I put down some eyelashes uh, from Rose Color Days and the sleep in script is from Nettie Designs. Always fun thing to do is just like relax in bed and then wake up and watch YouTube videos, which is what I'm marking next. I put down a play button from Artbox Stickers, as well as this YouTube script. It's also from Artbox Stickers and just marked a YouTube binge. And then for Sunday, because I decided to have a very relaxed and lazy Saturday, I needed to get all of the rest of my homework done on Sunday. So I'm putting down um, another one of those gold foiled half boxes from Artbox Stickers and layering that school script from my newest addiction on top of it. And I used another one of those strung bows. I'm telling you, they really just like made me so happy this week. I adored using those uh, and just marked my school assignments for that day. And that completes this spread. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I'll see you next video. Bye.